You're just allowed to be a family, which is really important. I mean, my son is nine, and he's a little boy. He is not longitudinal myelitis, you know, which is which which is what he had been up until now. And so now he's just allowed to be a little boy. He's not a diagnosis anymore. She looked at me like family. When you look at somebody that way, it changes what you see. Jen sees the future, that she's gonna change my life, and she did. They're very persistent, and they do push you, and they, they don't let you give up. I heard a therapist talking to another patient. She said, I'm hearing a lot of I can'ts, and I, that word is not in my vocabulary. You are not allowed to say I can't, because the next thing you know, they'll, make, they'll prove it to you that you can. It's everything you can ask for, for rehab. It's like they answer your questions before you ask them. She told me we have a brand new machine and we'd like to get you on that. We think that would certainly be beneficial and I'm like, yes, I want it. I need to get on that machine. I want that machine to help me walk and it has. I have my freedom. I do and that's what they gave me because I would not have had that had I not come to Mary Freebed. You look good. You're nice and upright. Just keep that head up, try and take a little bit wider, shoulder width apart step. We had to make a decision in order to um, redirect blood flow to my vital organs so I would live to amputate both my arms and my legs. It's the relationship that heals and you know, that was really coupled with all of the expertise but I think it's about the relationships that I had with my therapists and with my nurses and with my doctors. Being able to, to use my life to give back um, as much as possible to people who might have lost hope. You know, that's um, the opportunity that I've gained. I want to assure you that if you stick with it and you do your best and you don't fear failing, you will be able to look at that challenge, accomplish your goal, and be successful in whatever you do. I turned to Dave as we were walking out, and I go, Dave, you're walking out of Mary Free Bed. And he turned and he looked at me, and what did you say? I'm walking out of Mary Free Bed. Freedom!